Welcome back to Lo-Fi Music Theory. It's not fancy, just effective. Lesson two, how to read music. All right, if you're a beginner learning to read music, it can feel daunting. You may be thinking, oh my gosh, I've got to memorize all these notes and I'm just overwhelmed. Learning to read music fluidly, where you instantly process what you see without having to think about it, takes time and practice. However, as a beginner, Rather than just mindlessly memorizing notes out of context, it will help you to understand the system of notation. It's a very logical system. It's been in place for hundreds of years because it works really well. Let's dive in. Okay, here we go. We have five lines and four spaces, collectively called a staff. Over here on the left, we have a symbol called a clef. This is a treble clef. Guitarist, you only ever have to read this. Now, piano players, you know we have a second clef underneath. This is called the bass clef, all right? Treble clef represents the high notes typically played by your right hand. Bass clef represents the low notes typically played by your left hand. So already we have a visual representation for how your keyboard is laid out. High notes above low notes. Now, even though the two clefs are different, they function the same way. Every line in every space represents a single note from the musical alphabet. We'll start with A. In the treble clef, A is right here in this second space, which means B is here, stepping up to C, which steps up to D, steps up to E, the top space, steps up to F, on the top line, and the G sits just on top of that line, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now since it's only seven letters, if you wanted to go backwards, then that would make this line G, which means the first space is F, and the first line is E, and the D sits just underneath like that. There you go. Every line in every space represented by a single letter. Bass clef, same thing, just everything is slid over two. The A is here in the first space. Then we fill everything in the same way. Next line B, next space C, next line D, next space E, next line F, top space G, top line A, B resting just on top, and the bottom line is G, and F would be just underneath right there. There we go. Every line in every space representing one letter. Now what's great about this is as you're learning how to read and if you encounter something that maybe looks like this. I'm going to draw a bass clef and you know, piano players maybe you encounter uh, something like this. Excuse my amateurish artwork. <laughs> But you're looking at that, and maybe you're thinking, I don't remember all those notes. But if you can remember one of them, you can figure out all of them. Maybe you remember this one. Remember, oh, this is C. And then if you know this is C, you know, well, wait, this is a step above C. It must be D, which means this must be E, which means this must be F, and this has to be G. Like I said, it's a very logical system. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.